Welcome back. In this video, we're going to introduce the concepts of the common log and the natural logarithm. In the past, we've worked with logarithms and we've always shown what the base was. You may have seen, may recall seeing us doing things like log base 2 of 8 or log base 5 of, you know, 125, that kind of thing, where we were working with a particular base. Now our base is going to be 10, so anything with base 10 is called the common logarithm. And we won't even see log base 10 anymore, just like when we write square root, we don't put the 2 as the index, or if we put x, we don't have the 1 for x. The 1's implied in 1x. The 2 as an index is implied in square root. And now log, if you just see log, that means log base 10. The 10 is implied. So the log button on your calculator, log, is for log base 10. So if we want to evaluate log base 10 of 354.4, is some value, we just say log of 354.4. So what we're saying here is 10 to what power is 354.4. That, that system, log base answer equals exponent, hasn't changed. You know, log base 2 of 8, that simplifies to 3. Log base 5 of 125, well, that also simplifies to 3. I probably should have chosen like log base 5 of 25. Now that simplifies to 2. So log base 10 or log of 354.4, well that must be some value between 2 and 3 because log of 100 would be 2, right? Log base 10 of 100 would be 2. 10 squared is 100, and 10 cubed is 1,000. So 10 to what power is 354.4? Well, that must be something between 2 and 3. And we can use our calculator to determine that. All we have to do is simply type in log of 354.4 and enter, and we get the value 2.4. 5494. So about 2.55 is our answer. And that is exactly what we came up with. And you can use your calculator to find all sorts of common logarithms. Just, you know, pick your pick your answer. Log of 54. Well, that's going to be somewhere between 1 and 2, isn't it? Because it's between 10 and 100, or 10 squared and 10 to the first and 10 squared. So the common logarithm of a number between 0 and 1 will always be negative. And remember, a negative exponent is a reciprocal or a fraction. So also remember that 10 to the 0 equals 1. So uh, log of 0.5, there's our negative answer. So, and 0 0.5 is between 0 and 1. So, that is a summary of the common logarithm. Now, the natural logarithm, that's a little bit different, and this is going to be new to you. The natural logarithm is logarithm with base e. Well, what is base e? What is e? Well, e is a number. It's a constant. In fact, it's a fundamental number in our universe. It's an irrational number that's approximately 2.7182818281828, and then this pattern does not continue. It actually changes. It's a name of honor of Leonard Euler, and it's referred to as Euler's number or Napier's constant. It is not Euler's constant, so don't make sure you keep that separate. This is a number that's used in engineering and calculus and compound interest and other applications. And we'll see some of these applications, growth and decay, we'll use the value E. 
So the natural log or ln on our calculators is log base e. And once again, um, just like log base 10, the common log, the we don't write the e, we just write ln. So if we're just writing ln, that implies log base e. We know we're working with the natural log. So the natural log of e, okay, so we're really saying the natural log, or let's do this, log base e of e is equal to 1, or the natural log of e is equal to 1. So let's say we want to find the natural log of 192.7. Well, we just go to our calculator, natural log 192.7. And we get that value. The natural log of 10.84. Put that in your calculator. And we get the value. I'll let you find the natural log of 0.5841. And you can bring that to class. The final concept in this section is the change of base concept or the change of base formula or rule. Okay. To use the change of base rule, Bases must be greater than zero and not equal to one. Okay, our x must also be greater than zero. Okay, so our bases are the a and the b here. B is the base we want to change to, usually base 10 or base e, so we can use the common or the natural logarithm. Okay, so b is the base we want to change to. And A is the base we want to change from. Okay, we want to usually change from any base uh, except 10, the common log or E. And we usually want to change to base 10 or base E. So earlier when I talked about, you know, log base 2, we're going to want to change that to base 10. Log base 5, a lot of times we want to change that. Okay, so we'll use the log or the ln key in our calculator depending on which base we want to change to. So our change of base formula is log base A of x equals log base B of x over log base B of A. And Again, the B is usually we want to change to the common log or the natural log, and we want to change from something else. So if we want to change log base 5 of 12 to the common log, we just simply type into our calculator log 12 divided by log 5. This will convert from base 5 to base 10. And it's kind of how I remember what goes where. Um, the 12 here seems to be above the 5, so that goes on top, and the 5 is just a little bit below the 12, so the log base 5 goes below. So using my calculator, I can simply type in log, common log 12, all divided by the common log of 5, and our answer is 1.5. 5, 4, 3, 9, etc. So I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. Use the change of base formula to calculate log base 3 of 17, and I will ask you to bring that to class. So in summary, we just did a little introduction here to the natural log and the common logarithm and introduced the change of base formula and showed you how to Use your calculator to find common logarithms and natural logarithms, and then apply the change of base formula. So with that, we will see you in class.